<laughs> One for me, I'll take it. We Happy New Month! I'm visiting my parents and I am, and I tell myself this, knowing full well it's probably not true, going through their full photo collection, which is thousands of photos, one last time to make sure there's nothing I've missed. Who cut the photos <laughs> up? That's sick. I really want to be done creating this archive of my life. <sighs> I really want to be done. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what point my mum developed a sense of taste, because this is criminal. It's all very tasteful now, everything's nice. What's that? That's obscene. That's just against God. So as we all fully well know by now, anything I say online can and will be found by the person I said it about. And I want to try and use this phenomenon for good? Is it even good? When I was about four years old, I was on a holiday and I met a kid called Fabian. There's Fabian. And we became pen pals. There's us together on holiday. We exchanged a few letters, I think, over the course of a couple years and then lost touch because obviously we were just children exchanging letters. I wonder how Fabian's doing these days. Is your name Fabian? Do you know Fabian? I can't imagine there's that many Fabians in England. But yeah, do you know Fabian? Are you Fabian? Where's Fabian? <laughs> Someone just yelled fucking prick for sure. Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> you bullied me in school, uh. probably. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first season of Big Brother. I think I was like nine or ten. Oh, no. Yes! 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 Damn, girl. Uh. She hates men, I guess. No, I just really don't like the way that he acted in the house. I know, but you've got to respect the swagger. Yeah, he's got swag. Yeah, he's got, he's got like amazing tattoos. I'd listen to his set. Big boomies in the sky. Are you holding up, Squidge? Yeah, you don't care, do you? Where is the baby? Oh no. So the baby in her little autism blanket. Oh, little thing. I know, the sky is exploding again. I know, it's, it's, it's basically bonfire night, I'm sorry, are we? Oh, hell yeah, dude. So something that Charlie and I do pretty much every evening is we watch some TikToks. We watch them on her phone, through my Chromecast. Uh, I don't have TikTok on my phone. Anytime I install it, I immediately become like hyper fixated and it ruins my sleep schedule and I have to delete that thing like Jim Carrey pulling off the fucking mask. But one thing that's really struck me about TikTok is that people don't know when, when to shut up. They don't know how, how and when to end their video. I just posted TikToks for about a week, a few months ago. And the main comment I got was like, oh my God, Vine vibes, Vine vibes. No, I never used Vine. I was just doing short form comedy where I would tell the joke I wanted to tell and then end the video. And it made me realize that when people were making Vines, the reason they were so quick and iconic was just because they were limited. I cannot tell you how many times I have been watching a TikTok and seen an iconic bit in it, but because they've just insisted on putting shit at the start and shit at the end, they've ruined it. I cannot stress enough the importance of just only taking up the amount of time you need to tell the joke, the story that you have to tell. I've been doing this with Astor Movie for 15 years. You don't have to use up all the time you have. You can just... Edit your fucking videos, please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, guys, there are two girls dying in my dining room. They are dying. Look at them. They're dying. Their hair is the funny... This is the joke I'm sticking with. Yeah. It's Sunday, I don't want to have to come up with anything funny. No head? No head. Okay. Big jizz. What's on your chin? I got a spot. No. Oh. Well, good job. They look really cute and everyone keeps getting distracted, so. Mm. So, we are on our way, as we, uh, we are on our way to Buffer Festival in Toronto where I'll be screening The Confession 4, which I am currently submitting before I get on the plane. Was I supposed to send it off a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Didn't though, did I? I'm a fucking mess. I feel like 
I feel like there should be other passengers. So, made it to Toronto. <sighs> Mostly not eventful flight until the repeated calls if there was a doctor or nurse on board started coming through the tannoy. So I think someone was having a very bad day. As far as I'm aware, no one died. Um, it was just, someone was just unwell. I fucking hate flying. I never got over that hatred that I developed around 2017 of, of flying because I feel such a dread knowing what's coming, knowing that the jet lag is going to get me. And it'll be fine this way. You know, I'll get tired in the evenings a little earlier than I'd like to, and I'd wake up a little earlier than I'd used to. But when I get home, oh God. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> you really excited to get in the 45th floor lift? No. It is a bit scary, isn't it? Look at my little Gilmore girl. You know how they had their pink hair in Gilmore girl. <laughs> Squidgy. He's here. There he is. He's here always. There he is, and there he is, and there he is. And there he is. There he is. Fuck you, Kai. Put arrows on all of them. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yo. Yo, we got Ogle. Oh my God. We got Ogle. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh wait, no, they're putting them on right now. We're taking them off. She's so excited. She's so excited to be in a Walmart. Shelly, why did you do that? Shelly, Shelly, turn it off. Shelly, everyone's everyone's looking at you. I hate him. Stop. Stop. It's still going. It's... I think he's done. Oh, thank God. So, should we get it? Yeah. May I peel your skin? There is a robot, and he's coming to get me. Your blood will also suffice. Oh, he's following me. Come back. Oh, boy, he's thick. Just popped into Walmart to kill some time, because we were woken up really early. The perfectly normal-seeming fellow in front of us, in the queue, once we stepped out the door, just screamed in my face and yelled, fuck you. Which was just a bit weird, and I'm waiting now for about five minutes from now when the adrenaline inevitably hits my system. Cool. <laughs> Love being outside. Really enjoyable experience. Just give me what I want. Just give me, just give me what I want. Her movie is out in like two days. Where, is where is she? It's me. <gasps> Ew. Being a Miss Marvel fan and just wanting just one single Miss Marvel thing is a thankless task. That movie's out in two days and there's just nothing. Like, I, nothing. Does she like? I do like. Too bad. <laughs> Alright, Canada weather gear. They have to have ear warmers in Canada weather gear. They do not have ear warmers in Canada weather gear. Oh my god, emoji stickers. Oh my god, dog emoji oh stickers. It wasn't scary, it was just like, oh, can't be outside, it's fucking exhausting. Oh, that's ominous. Bye bye room that was too high and unnervingly scary. And you come all the way to Canada for Popeyes again? Yeah. Wow, the Cartoon Network Tower is too tall, so we're gonna go to the aquarium next door. Let's go to the fish jail. Let's see the fish that did some crimes. I'm gonna get me that fish. Why was it 99 fucking dollars? These better be the best fucking fish. These better be the best fish. I mean, these ones are wearing prison jumpsuits. They love Paddington. They know what they did. <laughs> Yo, Gary Larson fish. That's like a dinosaur, that's just no doubt about it. No, that's a platypus, babe. You don't know anything about fish, unlike me, who knows a lot about fish. Okay, new conspiracy theory. Aquariums aren't real and they're all just big screens. This is just a TV. It's... Fish aren't real. <laughs> Hello. He looks I crazy. Want, I want that one. Don't demonetize me for this. Oh my god. Oh no, he's... Oh, he rejected you. <laughs> the rarest fish of them all. Okay, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Say the thing. Go. Oh. Hello. Oh no, they want the attention. Holy shit, dude. What the heck? They're in love. Wow, look at all these beautiful ornate Christmas decorations. And what do you have there, Charlie? What do you got? It's my favorite condiment. You got a little bottle of ranch? Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. That fucked. 
This is huge. What oh, wait. No, look at mine. <laughs> Man does look like a SpongeBob friend. <laughs> I'm gonna eat him. I'm not gonna lie, this trip is a bit of a fucking nightmare. Charlie and I came out here uh, a few days earlier than Buffer Festival, and we'll be here an extra day after because we wanted to explore and enjoy Toronto. We, you know, we, we set a dozen or more locations on my Google Maps to explore, and we were here last year. We had a lovely time, but. Every single time we step foot outside, it feels like we're at fucking war. Like, the man screaming, Ah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, in my ear at 10 a.m. outside Toys R Us was just the first of what has been multiple verbal assaults. Charlie dared to laugh outside and someone went, Ah! at her. It's put us so on edge and it's made it really difficult to enjoy things and I have empathy and I understand why things are like this but oh it's just making it so hard to go outside. Tom? They still people. Uh, oh yeah okay. I'm just gonna say everyone else's names then. We have Tom. Oh hey! <laughs> hey. Um, wait! You got no claps. Oh, yeah. um, Julie. And Ryan. I'm amazed that they didn't ask us to cut anything out. Uh, we, did, we were not that kind uh, in the end. <laughs> we're like, show all our products. It's like they're bad. Stuff and things and stuff and things. They've got things and also stuff. Don't forget the things. It's yeah. like gambling for me. I love it. Yeah. Would you like a, a loot box? Give me them excellent little socks. We'd love to see it. Charlie, it's your friend. <laughs> You okay? Are you very scared of them? But look, 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 it's Ray. It's Ray Star Wars. Comic, stop vlogging. Can you get a grip? Wee. No, that's that's Moon Knight. That's also Moon Knight. That's Moon Knight. Okay, Miss Marvel's back here. Okay. Surprise! That's that's not. I think it's supposed to go in. I think so. You have two kids, man. You should know better. I like it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is um Kai. Kai Kai hit it. Oh, no. Hi. So sweet. What are you Oh you got <laughs> He's got the weed. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think my new thing is just coming to different countries and having whatever their variation of bread, cheese and meat in a roll is. What are we looking at? Huh. You ready? You ready to show a movie? A photo. I am actually, yeah. Why does my film have to be the first one? I have more power than I want. This is it. Ah. But next time, I get to wear the condom. <laughs> oh, oh. That was so dumb, and thank you. Do you guys like satanic piss ritual? <laughs> And how's your day going? Oh, I've had a day, let me tell you. It is a lost art, yeah. Sorry, did you have any work? <laughs> Show you do. Show sure your movie. Stomp. Stomp. I love Stomp. We're so fucking lame, it's unreal. This is neurodivergent. Shut up. This is not good branding for a lift. You know what I don't want to think of in a lift? People falling. That's us. Let's fucking go. Stand by for sterilization. I'm not standing by for shit. <laughs> don't press that button. I might have to press the button. Oh, don't do it. Oh, my. Oh, okay, it opens the door. He's behind me. <laughs> Squid. I want to thank you all for coming to Buffer again. It's our 10 year anniversary. Um, it's really important to us. Well, that's not ideal. I only went to a party and Charlie's gone and bloody changed the locks on me. And she's asleep, so I don't want to wake her up. So I filmed Tom's Girls Day Out, whichever one I just filmed, 16 or 17. Uh, did you lose 10 grand today? Because I did. I really had to force myself to stay up because I got so tired, but I was like, I gotta get footage for the end montage so it doesn't end like the previous Tom's Girls Day Out, which was also Buffer Festival, where I just kind of like gave up filming. I've also got one that I filmed last year in about February that I still haven't edited. Prize. What the fuck is... I was craving prawns. Yeah, it's just goth, you're oh. right. <laughs> oh, 
Goth. It's Goth. Okay, that, yeah, that's Gans. Yeah, there's a bat. Hey. Crew. That's me. I think you're and crew. Sorry. Stop looking prettier than me. I'm sick of it. Both of you. Can you dial it down? I'm only pretty on the outside. Let's go to the thing. I didn't bring a coat. Ten years from now, what do you hope to be creating? Don't get me wrong, I love to just be making comedy sketches. That's my that's the thing I like to do, that's the thing I think I'm good at. So as long as I can still be making people laugh, I'll be happy. Looking snazzy. <laughs> you look like a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Buffer, make some noise! Yeah! Yeah! Oh god. I used to be somebody. Hey, I know some of them. I really gotta give them a newer photo of me. Will McDonald's. What the fuck is up? I wish I were attractive. <laughs> it seems like it'd be nice. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? Um, I think you've got to walk out. So here at the Buffer Festival Gala, which is a largely masturbatory experience in which we all tell each other that we're great and give each other awards, um, should be a good night. <laughs> Nowhere near as entertaining as the tin can bros. <laughs> we missed you dearly. <laughs> Saying our name to an audience chills them to their very core. <laughs> I really wish these guys would hand me the microphone so I could publicly recreate the sound I make when I orgasm. My wife. <laughs> you and me both, brother. <laughs> the winner of the Excellence in Writing Award is... Presented by Webster's. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the winner is... Miss Carrie by Julie Nolke. <laughs> <laughs> God, I always feel so rejuvenated coming to Buffer. I find stuff harder to make every year, and every time I'm here, I just want to get on with the next one. Everybody say Buffer! <laughs> Oh my god, there's just more bar. Wow, a vampire! My god. These trains are beasts. I do like these trains. I'm heading to Whitby to hang out with my buddy Tanner, who I met 15 years ago or so when he was around 12. Um, he was just a fan who added me on like MSN, which was the Discord of the time. When I got Xbox Live, we ended up just playing Halo together, and we've just basically stayed in touch ever since. Tana makes a brief like one second appearance in a really old video of mine called Standoffish, as a Halo guy that explodes. Life is funny. All right, Charlie, we'll just, we'll chill here for three hours, I guess? I don't like that. That's not good, that's not a good touch. What's up, little Mimo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 2001. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little tickled. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm getting better. I'm getting up. Getting better. Oh, dude, someone's been coming in here. Something crazy. Hey. <laughs> Alright, let's see how the Canadians do chips, cheese, and curry sauce. This is this is a curry on top of some chips. This is. Surreal. It's like someone described all the ingredients, obviously, but with not any of the flavors. It's not bad, it's just strangely different. I feel like you're the North American equivalent of like a proper Brexit geezer. <laughs> Love me football. <laughs> Love me maple leaf. Can't believe this. This couldn't get any worse. <laughs> it was so weird. Wait, it's like this, right? And then yeah. you do that. <laughs> Why did you put on Soldier Boy? I just want to relive the good times. <laughs> they were never good. <laughs> we'll be done. <laughs> oh no, is it gonna get bad? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they give us this power? <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> You've got so many already. How many do you have? This is mad. Being, is in America, crazy. being in North America is great. <laughs> Would you like the Christmas wizard? Christmas wizard. All hail the Christmas wizard. Really nice guy working at the CD shop. Uh, asks me as we're finishing our transaction. Are you by any chance Tom Scar? And I'm standing there holding 14 Scar CDs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might be. <laughs> the Scar is literally throwing itself at me in Canada. What the hell? Yeah, okay. Alright. 
Let's go home. All right, see you later, Rob. See you later, Thank you. I've had enough now. I want to be in bed, thank you. Thank you, please. I'm currently in the process of giving up, uh, of quitting. We took on a brand deal with a company we knew had a less than savory reputation, but you know, I, I'd done my own independent research and, and from what I'd found, they were no worse than really any other company. Just this was one pe more people were talking about, I guess. From the point we started the project, their notoriety only grew. They only got worse. And now we're at a point where we've fully made this video it's all ready to come out, you know, all in. I've probably actually spent somewhere close to about two grand <laughs> making the video in terms of hours paid to an editor, getting stuff for the video, paying my team to be in it. And we released it to our patrons and the response was unanimous. It was just don't post this video. Don't work with this brand. We're very disappointed in you. And that's fair. And, you know, if, if even the people that like me enough to, to subscribe to our patron are like, don't fucking do this. That's a bad sign, isn't it? That's 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 not good. So I told him my management, I said, hey, this isn't coming out, at least it's not coming out with the brand's approval. You know, I might still recut it, remove their branding and you know, because it's still a fun video. And the brand has come back offering more money to get us back on board. And I fuck I fucking love money. <sighs> I can't bend to it. Here's the secret, the worse a brand is, the more money they will offer you. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Fuck. I'm in Eddie's garage once again to get merch for Telford. We had it all boxed up, ready to get couriered, and then someone forgot to organize the courier. It was me. I was in Canada. Why learn from your mistakes when you could just not? Well, that's brilliant. Finding lifts has not been easy, and I'm carrying dangerously heavy luggage. Like, if this fell, People die. Alright, let's go. Hey, come back here, you. Last night I checked the times for the event and I saw that it said entry at 11 a.m. So I thought, great, I'll get be here at 10. Uh, I realized at breakfast that that was the general entry. Priority entry had very much started uh, at nine. And in that time, they took my table and chair away. I guess they assumed I was a no-show. So now I'm waiting for that back. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm doing so well. This better be the best old fashioned you've ever had. It smells very good. It does smell good. I like your bottle of smoke. You keep it for later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Beaches. Beaches. <laughs> See, the thing about a breakfast buffet is that the individual uh, bits of food usually aren't that good, but when combined, can make a really solid sandwich. Tom, why are you late for the con today? Oh, well, while getting out of the shower this morning, I slipped and hit the floor really hard and then spent the following 10 minutes lying there naked, contemplating my fragile mortality. And then I had to go get the breakfast I'd prepaid for. I made a bacon egg McMuffin. And I just dropped it in my apple juice. Ah, another con down. Yes, I know there's a minion behind me. Cons are a weird thing. They're a very lonely experience. And you'd think that wouldn't be the case. You'd think that meeting lots of lovely people is, is wouldn't make you feel lonely, but it does. Because I'm not really myself, you know. I'm, um, don't focus on the minion. It's lonely because I can't be truly authentic. I can't really be myself. The, the real person is not great to meet, you know. The real me is more mumbly and will talk about myself and, and might be sarcastic and might be rude and that's not a good version of me to meet, so I kind of have to mask up, for lack of a better phrase, and present the best version of myself. And it's not an inauthentic version of myself, but it's not the most authentic version of myself because, you know, our real selves are flawed, our real selves are, are, have resting bitch face, so it's it's a process of being the best best version of myself so that the, the people I'm meeting are happy, you know? And to be clear, there's nothing that can be done about that. There's nothing that anyone can really do in that situation. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's not that I'm doing anything wrong. It's just the reality of being good at my job when I'm here is that. 
And even if you walk up to me and say, you can be your authentic self, I'm not gonna. It's not gonna happen. Why do you fucking look like that, dude? Why do you look like that? Sometimes I'm normal, and then sometimes I buy 40 Scar CDs on eBay in one evening. And this isn't even them. These are the ones I already own. Why did I do that? What's going on, buddy? Are you stuck? Are you scared? Are you scared? You don't know how to get down? I don't think this is gonna work. I, lo I, oh I love the enthusiasm, but I don't think he's coming. <laughs> I feel like he's committed to going down this wall and realize he's made a mistake. I went to the door to let them know that there was a squirrel stuck on their uh, wall uh, <laughs> if they wanted to try and get him down. And that, that me being that close to him uh, made him Outweighed. scurry down the wall and he's fine. <laughs> I think that was squirrel for, oh, help me please. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Mine seems so quaint now in comparison. <laughs> we just walked into a random place and it's, it's, it's a very fancy place. And I'm drinking a drink out of an edible cup, so. Oh my god, what is this? Loki season two, episode two? <laughs> Hello, do you have any pork pies? So I just had a pair of Jehovah's Witnesses come to the door, which hasn't happened in a long time. I actually thought they had stopped doing the ministry, but no, they're, they're back on, on, on door duty. There's been years when I've been younger or more mischievous when I have handled it differently. Uh, one time I said I was disfellowshipped and they were obliged to turn around and walk away because they can't speak to you if you're disfellowshipped. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I, just, I was just being a prick. No, this time I just, I wasn't feeling very silly or goofy. So after they, we, we chatted for a little bit and I mentioned like, oh, you're, you're doing door duty. I didn't know that was still a thing. I said, I'm actually an ex-witness. And it was quite a young fellow uh, at the door. Could be late teens, at most early 20s. I think this was the first time it ever happened to this guy because he he didn't know what to say. He was like, oh, um, what? And so I was like, don't worry, I, I know the drill. Uh, I know you're always there uh, if I would like to come back. And it's very nice to meet you. So I just, uh, I, I had to wrap it up for him because I feel like he, because it's dangerous. It can be very dangerous if someone's an ex-witness to be like, ah, oh, come back because you might be opening Pandora's box there. You might be cracking open a big old can of worms because you don't know the reason someone left the religion. It could be very much, you know? For me, it was just, I drifted and it wasn't for me. Organized religion doesn't sit right with me really in general. So there was nothing too explosive, but you know, I know people that it would be like, oh, I was abused. How dare you? And you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to open that wound. So very strange, very strange. I'm in the cinema all alone to watch the Marvels by myself because Charlie didn't want to come to the cinema. So... Here we go. The Marvels. It was very cheesy, um, but it was fun. Like everything pretty much the MCU has done in the past few years. Tried to shoehorn in emotional beats that didn't really feel earned and the fights got a bit sloppy. I had fun. I don't fucking care anymore. Everything's terrible in life. I'll enjoy my silly little superhero movie. I don't love that we're in the DCification of the MCU right now, where they're definitely in a phase where they're like, oh fuck, let's panic, release things, let's throw things away, let's bury things. You know, at the end of the movie, they tease that we might be getting a Young Avengers, or God, even the Champions, which would be fucking awesome. And if that gets shelved because they just bailed on this movie, that would be a real bummer. It was cool having the Miss Marvel movie. I liked it. I had fun. There was a singing and dancing scene, which um, I think it skewed a bit younger, but I had fun. I don't care. Fuck it. Everything's terrible. Why not? Actually, I'll, I'll get you in shot too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're finally you're finally in last month. Okay. Um, it's my big break. Well, like I said, you, we were always working in here, and there's never anything interesting happening. So. Uh, Oh, that's enough of you. Um, oh. so, <laughs> so with the Confession 4, we wrote too many jokes, uh, knowingly, and the thought was, okay, we'll edit some out when it comes to it, and then we just didn't. So we put all of the jokes in, and then I showed it at 
uh, Comic Con and uh, Buffer Festival, and both times I was there, I was just like listening to hear when the lulls were, like when people stopped, wh where the lulls and the lulls were, and uh, kind of trying to keep track of just what didn't work. And so we finally cut out a couple gags that never got a laugh. These jokes are not going in. Sorry, guys, you're not making it. And then reordered some so that there were the patches where there was fewer laughs are now dispersed throughout the sketch more evenly. You, bro you broke a phone and everything for I that know, one. and yet... I haven't released anything in over a year. What, the first thing we, that comes out needs to be good. We're supposed to get three more sketches out this year. I, I, I don't think it's going to happen, actually. New Year, New Me! <laughs> What's that going to get made? Oh, poor Miss Minky. Okay. Good you. God. She's a good girl. You can really see her shaking. Someone just set off a couple of fireworks, and... Pink fucking hates fireworks. Like, Squidge doesn't care. Squidgy, it's not always about you, buddy. Uh, first time we ever heard a firework, he was a little scared, and then he went outside and tried to fight them. This is the damage that two fireworks does. Pink, however, absolutely terrified, and we found one of the only things that calms her down is putting... Um, an autism blanket on her. Is it called an autism blanket? No, is that the official name? A weighted blanket. Uh, an anxiety blanket on her that's nice and heavy and calms her down. Squidgy, if you're not going to help, you have to leave. Squidgy, this is not what she needs. <laughs> attention, please! Attention for me! Oh my god, yes, my attention! Yum, yum, yum! Oh, freak boy. You just farted, dude. Thank you for that. No. Squidge, it's not about you! Oh god. Oh, what? No, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> All right, boys, let's be funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced. Ah. No, I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. You're going so far. Are you holding hands? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> it's very unpleasant. Um, it's okay, I think we got that then. Oh my god. <laughs> Slime, slime, slime. Slime time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. This is your best plan? This is a good plan. This is going really well. <laughs> they did search, search, fuck. <laughs> I fucked the bit. Yeah. Feed him. Feed him. This is horrible. I regret art. Best bit of the job. All right, Mad Caddies and Save Ferris. Pezcor and, is that Big D in the kids table? Big D in the kids table. Noise. Oh. I'm going to shit. I hate <laughs> this, actually. More. See, this one's called Scrapless Kids Bunkers. I think it might be fun. What do you mean he's not supposed to get in my eye? <laughs> this is how I find out? Shake him. <laughs> Will, sorry, what did you study in uni again? Architecture. Ah. <laughs> Grief comes in many different forms. There's the big ones, of course. You know, a death, a breakup the brutal loss of a friendship but there's the little ones as well like standing in a bedroom moments before you move out or standing in the garden of a friend's house knowing this is the last time you'll ever see this space and soaking up all of the memories that you had there little micro grief moments respect that grief is always going to do crazy things do you mind I'm, I'm, you're in my shot can you thank you <laughs> grief is grief is always grief is always going to do crazy things <laughs> she's gone you fucking wow. made a leave. you do get numb to them these things can feel so significant when you're younger so final so poignant but after a while they happen so frequently that you just kind of stop taking them in at all because you know that they're far from the first and very far from the last. But it's still grief. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Go on, kiss. Nothing's exploded. 
this visit is worthless. Oh, the Chinese. Look at them. They've got handles and stuff. You really do. How many of you have I met? That's the real question. My God, that's a lot of furries. That is, there is a parade of furries. So yesterday I found out that the Scar Band, the Aquabats, uh, were founded by just a group of uh, friends who were all Mormons, which is just kind of interesting. And it made me think like, oh, are there any like Jehovah's Witness bands? Not really, but there's a lot of like musicians who were Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, Biggie Smalls, Michael Jackson, uh, just a bunch of really interesting people. But one thing I learned today that I didn't already know is the, the guy who made fucking Dungeons and Dragons was a Jehovah's Witness. They were so mad about it that he had to stop being a Jehovah's Witness. That's fucked, but really funny. They're like, oh my god, there's demons in your game. And he's like, I made the game. It's not fucking like, well, you are full of demons, I guess. Oh, just 10 out of 10. Also, why am I not on the list of famous ex-Jehovah's Witnesses? Who's this fucking Japanese model? I made Astor movies. She make Astor movies. Oh, she. I feel like this vlog makes it seem like I eat a lot worse than I do, but I, weirdly enough, I don't film myself eating a salad. That's not very interesting. Believe it or not, I've actually lost weight year after year for the past couple of years. You know, slowly but surely. I just like eating nice food when I'm out, okay? Just kill, fucking sue me. Pinky! Pinky, I'm the one playing fetch with you! Pinky, that's not, that's the wrong one! That's the wrong one! So I got linked to a couple posts recently that were just someone, uh, or just a few people were just talking about how fucking, you know, pathetic and, and, and sad and deplorable I am, which is such a funny thing. Uh, Cause I feel I'm doing all right, actually. Squiggy! Oh, here comes the chonkster. There he is. Clean my hands on the dog. Yeah, good boy. Oh, gross. I think that's poo. Pinky! Please! Thank you! Slop, slop, slop. Slop, slop, slop. I got my gloves on. Let's see how the Christmas tree is looking. Oh, fuck me. Oh, so many spiders. Oh, God! What a sight. Oh, God. You're just gonna be fucking full of spiders, aren't you? All right, we'll let that get some fresh air for a bit. Any spiders, evacuate now. So a couple months ago, I got this uh, really cool Miles Morales shirt from a website called The Roosevelt's. I like it, it's, it's, it's comfy and it's, it's cool uh, and it's tasteful and I wore it at the end of the most recent last month. And I don't know if, it, it, if this is the strangest instance of Tom Scar's lore or something, but about six, seven hours after that video came out, I got an order confirmation from the website again with like four items of clothing in my size with a 100% discount applied and I don't know I don't know if it's either just a, a mistake or more likely I guess someone from that company saw last month and said yeah we'll just send him some stuff but with no no explanation we got a spider we got pointing spider-man shirt and a burger sticker yay burger Oh, he's going to Hawaii. Oh, now we have to go to Hawaii. <laughs> oh, okay, is that how that works? <laughs> so, I think this is an Ahsoka shirt. Fucking, this is so big. This is so big. I don't understand what's happening. I'm really hoping there's a note inside to make this make sense. There is no note. What? Can they do that? Can they? <laughs> is that allowed? <laughs> so this is pretty much what my scar collection or scar archive, if you will, looked like uh, before I went to Canada. Uh, and this is where it's at now uh, with the CDs I bought in Canada plus uh, a bunch of things I've gotten off eBay. Also, technically, I already own these. But uh, this will be completely full basically, by the time everything arrives. And then I have to stop buying CDs because I have enough. I'm so fucking mad right now. I had to reorder a CD that I own, one of my favorites that I've seemingly lost, uh, Mighty by the Planet Smashers. I can't find it anywhere, I don't know where it is. It shouldn't have moved, but it's just not here. So I ordered it again. It was not cheap, uh, and it's arrived. Fucking what we do with this? Frankie on Twitter very kindly scanned uh, a copy they had of the CD which allowed me to jerry-rig a new version that's perfectly possible. So, I mean, I've bought it once. I'm not, I'm not buying a third copy of this CD, all right? It's had enough. It's a great CD though, I like it a lot. And because I can't do anything normally, I also have everything sorted alphabetically and chronologically so that when it's all arrived, I can actually put it all into the appropriate order. Oh, oh no, oh god. No, don't ask me. <laughs>
Peeping or so poo poo, I'll be shitting and farting. There's a common comment I've seen on a lot of the videos where I've talked about like sex toys, where I've like wiggled dildos around and been like, hee hee, this is funny, or been like, what's this? Uh, and it's like, oh, Tom Scott doesn't know anything about sex, he's so vanilla. And it just, it really vexed me when I read them. It, it, it absolutely lives in my head rent free. I thought it'd be funny to wear a pup hood for a video and for the thumbnail, knowing exactly what I was doing. The, the, the day I released that video, I went out drinking with a couple friends and I got, I got quite drunk. So I was feisty on Twitter and I did, I did tell one of them to sit. Which... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a silly little goofy guy. Anyway, I know what things are. I'm not that innocent, to quote uh, Britney Spears. Anyway, that was uh, November. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Let's do, let's do December. Let's finish this year in, a, in the life. Thank you for watching so far. Let's wrap this bitch up, shall we? <laughs> See you last month. Oh God, um, okay. I, I don't know how Elliot took his voice with him, but I'll, I'll do it myself. Hey you. Thank you for the money, hey you. Thank you for the money, money, hey you. Thank you for the money, hey you. Thank you for the money, this is hard, hey you. Thank you for the money, hey you. Thank you for the money, money. Uh, thank you patrons, we appreciate it. Uh, I guess, I guess I have to come up with a new song. Um, so, st uh, stand by for that. Please send help.